Sometimes PowerShell requires you to put in a Boolean type of answer. And that basically, in this particular case, is going to be true or false. Now, in the world of binary, Boolean is either one or zero. So it's a similar kind of thing. So if we do a help and we do a, uh, let's do a set dash disk and we hit enter. Some of the answers we see are such as is read only, we see Boolean. And there's uh, going to be several, is offline, Boolean, that kind of thing. So we can only answer in one of two ways when that happens. So let's go ahead and do a get dash disk and pick out what we want to say about that. So let's go ahead and choose disk number one. That one we're not really using. It just got five gigabytes. It's a GPT type of a thing. So if I type in set dash disk and then I put in dash number one, then I'll put it, do another dash and we'll say is read only. And I have two choices here. And it always has to start with a dollar sign. So they're going to be false or it's going to be true. So one of those two. So if I set it to read only, then that means we won't be able to write anything to it. If I set it to false, we will be able to write to it. So we'll go ahead and say false so we can write to it. Let's go ahead and hit enter. And now it's set. So anytime you see that Boolean option, it's only going to be one of two things. It's either going to be false or true. And if you do a lookup online of what Boolean means, it's actually named after a person who came up with this type of a thing where it's either this or that. So it's quite an interesting history if you want to take a look at it. But that is how you set the Boolean, Boolean options in PowerShell using any version of PowerShell.